Chris is getting taps right now. A little tiny taps, but it's definitely a fish. You guys probably can't see the tip of his pole, but every now and then, a little tap tap. Yep, it's a pikeman, we're gonna put him on the hook. We got two takedowns, three takedowns, something like that. So the night's really young and it's good so far. Do here is the bait Wait, still on it? Yeah, let him. I, yeah. What I do is I say like, uh, I'll get to ten minutes. Right, because you said that one yeah. came back ten minutes later. And yeah, exactly. It, 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 they'll swim by, take a little bite, and then be like, you know, swimming around, curious about other things. Be like, I'm gonna go back and eat that. It was such a juicy morsel too. Hopefully, we'll come back. Yeah, a little paper. I'm keeping that one. Yeah, there you go. Perfect, perfect. That one's for sage right there. Alright, before I left the house today to go fishing, my six-year-old son said, catch me a striper so I can eat it. Well, I'm gonna bring this little guy home to him. He's gonna eat the whole thing. Striper! Yeah. Stoked. That is a perfect striper for a six-year-old. Yeah, nice buddy. Heck yeah. Shake. Anyway, except for uh, really overcooked. <laughs> yeah, well, always medium, medium rare, rare. On the cliff. <laughs> cliff stay. Steve's on one. We'll eat her. Is that on the chunk bait? Did you get him in? Yeah, he's chilling. Right he's on top. a sketchy spot. Well, good thing it's just a little guy. It's on his ultralight. Oh, wait. Oh, pike minnow? Oh, it's even better. Is it a big pike minnow? No, it's a perfect size one. It's pretty big. It is kind of big, but it's not that bad. Put him in the net. Dude, he's right there. He might get hit. Double hook. Let's put him on. You got a double well. hook? Nothing rig? else is going on. Let's put him on. Just had a bell ringer. Asher. Come on now. It's walking a bit, so that could have been it. Sometimes I also think what happens is the fish hits it, 
and that causes your uh, your setup to get dislodged. Right. You know what I mean? The bump. Pretty yeah, much. the fish giving it a little jerk moves your weight, and then. And then it walks. And then it walks. Yeah. So, so you never know. Asher's on. Asher's on. There's a cam down there. I got it. I got it. Doesn't feel that. Try. Oh yeah, he's big. Try it. Try to stay on that end. Oh, nice striker. Hey, we need the net. I think. I got the net right here. It's right down here. I got it right here. That's a good six pounder. Maybe bigger. Nice striper. There you go. Whew. On the live. Yeah, let's keep that pike minnow. That was on a pike minnow. That was on a live pike minnow that we just caught earlier. And look and at that fish, that's a nice fish. That's Do I still have the little pike minnow? Yeah, he's still there. <laughs> We're gonna double up with him. He's chunky. He's, he's fat. He's, he's not long, but he's he's got a round to him. Oof. Come here, buddy. Come here. Hooks all slurp, the way down in there. Slurp that thing down. That's Ooh, a fatty. He's so thick. Look how thick he is. What Beauty. a nice beast of a fish right there. So stoked on that. That's got to be it. And it smashed this little pike minnow. Rigged up this little pike minnow right here live. It worked. It worked. What a Freaking nice ass. chunky. Let's weigh that awesome thing up. We got the scale. Striped bass. Yeah. What do you guys bet? Yeah. What do you guys think? That's going to weigh. My guess right now is going to be. Eight. I'll go seven and a half. Uh, six and a half, seven. Let's see the uh, digits. Um, it's a nice fish. It's, a nice fish. it's got a belly on it. I'm leaning more like seven, seven to eight now. <laughs> That's about seven and a half, I think. Six. So it's five nine. That's a big fish for five it's a nine. Big five nine. Is it on zero? Hold the phone here. You want so it's a negative nine ounces. Okay, that's zero. Oh, there that we go. That makes small. a little more sense. Six three. Yeah. Six, three. You guys, you guys have seen this in the daytime, but at nighttime, it's quite a slope of rocks we're sliding down. So if the footage turned out horrible, blame it on his fish. All right, so we are all just commenting on the size of this striper's belly. And we're gonna clean this fish here in a minute and find out what's inside of it. But you might have, but I want you to look at this belly and tell me what you guys think is in this thing. I mean, there's a plethora of things that it could be, so. I mean, look at that thing. That thing is like girthy. There's something in there. Another pike minnow, an eel, another striper. Who knows? <laughs> so we're gonna find out what's in this belly. Let's see what's just inside eggs? this fish. Let's see what these stripers have been eating. Small graphic content on them, guys. So deep in the gullet, in its gullet. Wow, that is my hook. Is deep. And then right here in its belly, Louie's never gonna let us hear the end of it, you guys, because at the last location, Louie was like, you guys, let's take that and use it. Let's just take that and use it. Let's take it and use it. And right here crawdad. is a crawdad. Yep. One that was freshly eaten. This crawdad was eaten today. Its shells in perfect condition, maybe yesterday or something, but its shells are in perfect condition. And then this right here, Sculpin, is a sculpin which is on the line right now so a baby sculpin crawdad and a sculpin so if you guys want to know that was in the belly sculpin crawdad and that's it and it ate a pike minnow 
and we've been catching them Here's, on the anchovies. This is uh, uh, this is crazy. The spine of another little tiny fish. Try another sculpin. I bet. So Just mine. picking them yep, up. Yep, another little sculpin probably. Right, that's so sculpin in there. Sculpin and a crawdad right there, guys. Wow. Right <laughs> Did you expect that? And then this apparently is the row. And I don't really know much about striper row, but some rows is delicacies. And people would fry this. And if you look, these are tiny, tiny little striper eggs. Zillions of them. So That's probably why they're right able there. to take over rivers, because they lay so yep. many eggs. And to be real, I bet you that this is something that somebody would take. It probably doesn't seem very appetizing right now, but you clean this all up, and then you fry it in butter, and <laughs> it actually turns into like a pretty bomb little... That'll Little be sack. on the next like next sausage. catch and cook right people, there. People are into next it. catch and cook. Sausage, man. <laughs> Little like sausages. Like the, uh, mean the Japanese. Daddy, would you like some sausages? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, you got buns. Mm -hmm. Thank you, River Gods. Yeah.